So SSDs have been around for a number of years now and many of you will have already made the upgrade and be seeing the benefits of the extra speed that they offer. However, there are some people out there who haven't and this video is for you. Upgrading to an SSD like the ones here from Samsung will likely offer you a bigger performance boost than pretty much anything else, with faster boot up, program loading and file transfer speeds than if you just have a regular mechanical hard drive. So let's take a look at what's available right now. There are two main types of SSD. These are the 2.5 inch SATA 3 drives like this one and the newer M.2 variants like this one. SATA 3 is compatible with all computers that use the SATA connection. So if you have a PC that's more than a few years old, then it's likely that this is the one for you. It's super easy to install, needing just a power and a data connection, and fits into the common 2.5 inch drive bay found inside all computers. You can also fit it into a 3.5 inch bay with an adapter. Technically, it's a lot slower than the latest M.2 drives, but it's still several times faster than a mechanical drive, especially for instant access tasks, as you don't need to wait for it to get up to speed. M.2 NVMe is the latest and greatest connection, offering almost unbeatable speeds. The only downside is that you have to have the connection on your motherboard to get the full benefit. If your motherboard is relatively new, running on an Intel 7th Gen or AMD Ryzen CPU or later, then it's worth looking to see if you have one. If not, then you should still use the SATA 3 drive. So just how much faster are we talking then? Let's take a look. We performed three real-world tests to compare an SSD to a mechanical drive. Boot up speed, file transfer from USB drive and loading up a game. Let's see how they did. The PC on the right has the latest 500GB Samsung 960 EVO M.2 SSD, whilst the PC on the left has a 2TB Seagate Barracuda HDD. For general boot up times, as you can see, the SSD is super fast whilst the HDD took 39.1 seconds. Next, we tested the length of time both took to load a game. We used Fallout 4 and selected Ultra Graphics settings on both PCs. As you can see, on the SSD we're straight into the intro in just 3 seconds, and the main menu in just 13 seconds. Immediately loading the content, and you're ready to play at just 23 seconds. Meanwhile, our standard hard drive loads the menu quite quickly at 13 seconds, but then takes a lot longer to get through the menu, almost twice as long before you're in-game. Finally, we tested the length of time for a standard file transfer. For this, we used a video file of 1.45 gigabytes, transferring from a standard USB 3 memory stick to the PC's documents folder via the USB 3 port. As you'd expect, the Samsung 960 EVO M.2 SSD flies through the transfer at just 20 seconds, whilst the HDD takes almost three times longer at 58 seconds. So there you have it, a simple upgrade to an SSD is going to make a huge difference to how your PC performs, particularly if you multitask, play games at the highest settings or regularly need to transfer large files in a hurry. Samsung offers SATA 3 drives from approximately £80 for a 250GB model. M.2 drives start from just a little more, so if you have the connector it's definitely worth the upgrade over the SATA 3 version. You can check out the available range by clicking the link in the description or checking out the website at scan.co.uk. Thank you.